You're listening to the American Democracy Minute, keeping your government by and for the people. After months of campaigning, intrigue, impeachment threats, and partisan hardball, oral arguments were finally heard November 21st on the constitutionality of extreme gerrymanders in Wisconsin's State Assembly and Senate maps. As we've reported, the election of Justice Janet Prosewitz in April changed the partisan makeup of the Wisconsin Supreme Court. During the race, Prosewitz had stated the state's voting districts were rigged, which had state geo GOP leaders demanding she recuse herself or be impeached. She did not recuse. The larger part of the arguments concern the state constitution's definition of contiguity and whether the voting districts are as compact and connected as mandated in the constitution. Most of the state's districts are not compact and as many as 75 are not contiguous, forming municipal islands. A decade of manipulation of the districts has led to an inflated GOP majority in the legislature, despite almost equal numbers of Republican and Democratic voters. This manipulation resulted in a 64 to 35 majority in the Wisconsin Assembly and a 22 to 11 majority in the Senate. Lawyers representing a conservative group argued that the case should have been filed earlier, and attorneys for GOP assembly members suggested that new maps could unseat reps elected under the existing maps just last fall. A decision on the case is expected early next year. We have links to more details at AmericanDemocracyMinute.org. I'm Brian Beal.